it has been burnt and destroyed yeah, my name is Ahmed Tahir Kujja I'm a human rights monitor and journalist uh, from Darfur South Darfur state near the city Niala I believe that it is the second town after Khartoum in Niala we have the biggest two um, army organizations Sudanese armed forces and on the other side we have rabbit support forces which are wearing one umbrella before the before 15th of April and they are fighting each other like it's becoming like a, something weekly like in every week's RSF they or arrange themselves they mobilize and bring their allied militias and other militias uh, uh, from the RSF and arrange themselves inside the town of Niala. It is becoming very worse because Sudanese armed forces they like they just replied by shelling them. They use shells, use artillery. Nowadays they are becoming using airplanes, bumping areas. Within the five months, every week we have like an attack, bombing and shelling RSF, destroying, killing family members at once. These things cause like a very big waves of displacement. So we have areas or neighborhoods which is totally empty with civilians. Past week of war in, inside Niala, it has destroyed all the, the public institutions and also the, the Niala markets, as well Niala airports, other places like NGOs. The city it has been like out of control. Everywhere you find the militias on the motorcycles, working on, on the same line with the RSF attacking and destroying. We have seen militias carrying people's things, people's goods, attacking uh, constitutions, buildings like universities and, and like airports, as well like NGOs, international organizations, offices, and they just broke the doors and take anything. So these images, these, these things, this experience, it shows that the other side of cost of war, war is not just losing lovers, friends, war it brought a new behaviors. People who have survived from 2003 war and they flee to the IDP camps, they had saw the same picture that we have seen it in Niala within those first days.